Welcome back to Wasteland 3, folks. We are back in the bizarre interior. Let's try talking to Simon the Squatch again, here. Esteemed guests. What kind of stores do you have here? Uh, we have all kinds. All kinds indeed. Yeah, so there is... Tally sells weapons to any weary pilgrim. Gwyn Talbot is your woman if you need protective gear. Dr. Cold Cuts can sell you medical supplies or see to your health needs. And in the central area, you'll find the Fountain Bar. A good place to kick back with a drink and some of Masato's delicious port. Okay. Where can we go for Depends fun? Depends on your definition of fun. I'd recommend talking to Eidolon. She and her pals really know how to party. <laughs> but if you're a more cerebral type, check out Quarex's museum in the back. Okay. All right. Enjoy your visit. Thanks. Somebody so that's the bar somebody. in here. No way. Where would they get There's lemons? the dock. Let's talk Dr. to the dock Cold first. Cut. Why, hello. Name's Hirsch. Lev Hirsch. But you can just call me Dr. Coldcut. <laughs> what do you need? Actually, uh, goodbye. See ya. Because I want to go up and talk to Flab first. Hopefully that will increase our standing with the monster army guests have you found out what is haunting our warrens we took care of things in the warrens and it turns out we had an infestation of clouds um, uh, yeah oh, clowns then the situation was more dire than i had imagined Los payasos would not have hesitated to kill every living thing in my home in the most unspeakable ways. What are you talking about? They are one of the wild gangs that escaped the Patriarch's control. I've not had to deal with them in decades, but last I did, they raided one of our caravans didn't even take most of the supplies. They seemed to think it was just a funny joke to kill our men. Well. If it was truly Los Payasos, then you have done us all a great service. Our stores are open to you at a discount. And here, take this as a token of my thanks. Nice. The bazaar will be waiting. Very nice. Uh, we can't go in there. Okay, so yeah, it was good that we talked to Flab first. What was the book he gave us? It was this thing, wasn't it? Yeah, the Drill Sergeant's phrase book. Probably increases hard ass by one. Okay. Okay. Well, let's talk to the dark. Is it true? We had crazy clowns roaming the warrens? Unbelievable. Uh, thanks so much for helping us deal with that. No worries, mate. Could you patch us up? Yeah, pig, human, <laughs> ain't so different. Bucks, <laughs> Cash bucks. first and I'll fix you right up. That's fine. Aces. <laughs> this won't hurt a bit. Promise. <laughs> Promise. Why is your name called Cold Cuts? Uh, used to be the veterinarian slash butcher here back in the day. Learned all about how the body works by carving up meat. Uh, animal meat, uh, of course. Uh, when Doc Kessler passed, well, I uh, inherited the position. Okay. Do you sell any medical supplies? Ah, the self-medicating sort. Sure, take a look. Okay. So we definitely need some medical supplies. What are these? 
No glow purges the effect of radiation and any simple mutations. Okay. First aid station. This device contains enough healing gas for several pulses. The bioaccelerant will quickly get any nearby allies back on their feet. Requires seven first aid. Requires a portable first aid station. Restores 25% con per turn to anyone standing around. Last three turns. That is nice. I'd love to have that. Ultra morphine. More than a painkiller, ultra morphine actually kills pain. One dose can make a soldier unstoppable until the effects wear off. Used to restore 75% con per turn over three turns, but suffer internal bleeding afterwards. Okay. That doesn't sound pretty that good, to be honest. Okay. So 15 for the med packs and 30 for the med hypos. Um, we have 3,264 and we have a ton of junk to sell, I think. Yeah, 4,296 now. Okay. So, I think... We'll buy all those. And we'll buy all those. Nitro spark. We want. Let's buy, just buy two. Uh, injury kits. Let's just buy ten of those. All right. That's pretty good. Suture kits. I wish we could see what we have here. I mean, can we see how many suture kits we have? We can. Okay, six. That's enough. Okay. All right, that's pretty good. We healed. Oh, not quite. Uh, let's get Higgs ah, healed up again. completely. What is it? Ah, pig! You aces! <laughs> this won't hurt a bit. Promise. Okay. See ya! So now everyone is fully healed. Very nice. Alright, let's just go around the outside and then we'll take a look at get the center. Protective gear. Here. Protective gear. A reek of tobacco and tannins around this. Wizened, dark-skinned woman. Without breaking eye contact, she swaps her chewed down cigarette stub for a fresh one and lights it before she speaks. Hello, future customers. Welcome to Talbot's Tannery for all your protective and outfit needs. You're Talbot? Rather than answer, she takes a long drag of her cigarette. Your question does not seem to have impressed her. Uh, can we see your wares? That's why I'm here. Oh. Sensory Shroud, Armor Mod. More plus more status effect resistance, plus 30. Personnel Drive, Armor Mod. Combat Speed, plus 0 0.4, Armor, plus 1. Armor, minus 4, Face Temper Controller. A lot of resists, but... Armor, plus 2, status effect resistance, plus 50. Combat Speed, plus 6, okay. Requires nine armor modding. Jesus. Poly. What? Polycylene barrier. What the heck? Uh, armor plus one cold resistance, energy resistance, fire resistance, explosive resistance. That's actually quite nice. Tank armor. Armor plus nine. Wow. That might be nice. Tank helmet. Trooper armor. I think I want this tank armor for um, for Hawk. Let's check what we have on us. And we'll see what we want to buy. I think we want to buy some of this stuff. I think what we want to buy some of this stuff. 
Um, I do have armor plus 7, but also a healing bonus of plus 25%, which is nice. Plus five. Okay. So there is something to be gained for her. And her strength is just high enough. Strength five. Strength two. Strength four. Strength two. Strength two. Okay. All right. So the beasties in the war and just a bunch of clouds. Huh, that's why I'm here. Okay. So tank chest armor. And the tank helmet I think I want. And tank legs, probably. Okay, that takes us down to 2,000. And then there's this trooper stuff. That's actually quite nice as well. Let's take one set of that. Okay. Tank chest. Tank helmet. Tank legs. 23 armor, so we got 5 armor out of that. She had 18 before. Okay. That's pretty good. Um... Uh, so that means the, the trooper stuff doesn't require any strength. Super legs, super helmet, super armor. Okay, so now he has 15 armor. Not bad. What do you have on? Plus five and ten percent healing bonus. Okay, and for the helmet, I kind of like that. The legs evasion plus nine percent, armor plus four. Okay, so you're not getting that. You're keeping that, I think. Tactical legs, actually. But we have people who don't have the strength to... ...to wear these. No, we don't. Oh, to wear these, I guess. Uh, these requires four strength. They do need to be modded though. Armor plus nine, armor plus seven, being bonus 25%. Armor plus two, armor plus four. Let's put those on. Okay. 
And then I think this weird science weapon. Let's put that in there. See what that does. We can always switch. I kind of like him having the shotgun, actually. Yeah, though that one is 31 to 46, 24 to 34. It has a lot more ammo and better p penetration. Twenty-six to thirty-nine, twenty-four to thirty-four. I think I want to use this one instead. Okay. I do have this very nice tactical helmet. Who wants that? Suppose you can have it, and then we can switch if we need mechanic. Yeah. Okay. What else do we have? Wonder if any of these have steel toes. Quarix. Oh wow! Are you Rangers? I haven't seen any of you guys since I left. Uh, I mean, in a while. Yeah, I haven't seen any Rangers in a while. Yes, he's from Arizona. Uh, I'm Quarex, by the way. This is my cool museum of uh, coolness. W would you like a tour? Sure. Really? Uh, okay, this way. Uh, okay, I'll start. Welcome to Quarex's Cabinet of Quariosities, a okay. collection of the rarest of the. Well, it's toys and games uh. mostly, and some mementos. But they're all really cool, I promise. Well, cool. That top hat belonged to Mr. Cynical from Angel Oracle out in L.A., a fellow game aficionado. He lived his life trying to help the little guy, defending them against bullies and end-level bosses. In the end, though, a boss got him, and, and, well, he didn't make it. I keep his hat around to remind me to be honest and decent, like he was. Good for you. This was the best video game ever! Wasteland 4! <laughs> you can choose what color you want the screen to be, red or green. This is the most sought-after gaming accessory ever made! The legendary Mighty Mitt! I love the Mighty Mitt! It's so bad. Okay. This is a genuine megascope, the most advanced optical aiming device of its day. A priceless artifact. Shame Ooh, somebody cool. stuck it on that silly old ray gun, but I'm not going to try to take it off. I might break it. I wonder if we can steal that. This is a Tarjan the Tenebrous machine. It can tell your fortune. But you get a premium fortune if you have some special tokens. Wish I had some. Oh, we have a Tarzan token. We have two, actually. This throne was once the most coveted object yeah. in the wasteland. The rule Maybe we can was give him one. whoever sat on it was the king. King of what exactly? I don't know. I also don't know who made that rule. This is a slicer dicer, the scariest robot ever. It slices, it dices, it even makes julienne fries. Whatever those are, if this thing was working, we'd all be dead by now. These are the most classic of classic arcade games. Avenue Brawlers, Catboy, and Star Intruder. Mm. This is a surfboard. I don't know what surf is and what boards have to do with it, but this looks well loved. It has property of MF on it. I hope that doesn't mean what I think it does. <laughs> He's pretty funny. And that's it. Let me know if you have any questions. Well, I 
do, but not really for you, I think. Uh, I want to loot that. Made it past Telluride today. Found a guy there who sold me some rat jerky. There's a caravan heading for Boulder, and I'm going to try to tag along. Colorado's cold and kind of scary, but there's treasure here, too. That guy with the rat jerky, he had like six or seven 3DO cartridges just lying around his shack. When I asked him how much for the set, he looked at me like I was crazy. Practically gave them away. You know what? Leaving Arizona might be the best thing that ever happened to me. Uh, so he is from Arizona. Let's try this Tarzan. Inside his glass confinement, Tarzan bears his rictus grin to the world, and I crack the other throbbing like a flesh wound. There is a conspicuous red button. Beside it are the words, press here to receive fortune. Let's insert a Tarzan token. Tarzan doesn't move, but something about him feels more alive. You feel a tingle on the back of your neck as a note emerges from the slot below his torso, inscribed with calligraphic lettering. Be as wise as Solomon, and you'll have half a baby to show for it. What? Half a baby? What do I need half a baby for? Let's take a look at this. This display case contains an energy weapon that has been fitted with a highly sophisticated pre-war scope. It looks masterfully crafted and carefully maintained. Break the case. A small plaque besides the case reads, Sap Pow, accurate to a single pixel. You'll never miss when using the Megascope. Glass case does not appear to be locked. Uh, let's save, uh, just in case we get in a fight with the whole of Bazaar or something, because I don't want that. Okay. Cool, we got, we got it. Megascope, where is it? There it is. Sniper rifle, 51 to 70. Okay. We don't have a sniper, unfortunately. Which I actually really would like. Kind of thinking instead of Lucia, she just have has weapon modding and barter, which we can get up again. Oh, there's a computer here. I didn't see that. A lovely rendered scene of the Scottish Highlands flickers in 16 pixelated colors on the screen of this computer. A polyphonic chorus of beeps forms into a Gaelic tune as you read the title of the game, The Bard's Tale 4, Barrows Deep. Okay. Play the game. You encounter fiendish cultists, solve de devious puzzles, and compose magical songs, but one challenge defeats you. The game ends with an epithet, whatever that is. You've been killed by 99 berserkers. Okay. All right, let's talk to Quarex again. Hi, Maybe Rangers. we can give Love him the uh, the Tarzan token. Let's talk. Uh, sure. Your name is Quarex. Did you live with the Topekans in Arizona? You must be thinking about someone else. Quarex is a more common name than you might think, you know. No, it really isn't. Anyway, not me. Nope. You're swearing a lot, Quarks. You're sweating a lot, Quarx. Those totems around your neck, the Quarx we heard about was wearing the exact same thing. Really, Quarx is a common name? Let's do your sweating a lot, Quarx. Oh, well, haven't you heard? Scientists say sweating is a sign of truthfulness. <laughs> I, uh, okay. Fine, I'm Quarex from Rail Nomads. Happy now? Kind of cool you guys have heard of me. Nobody knows about me. Uh, why did you come well, to Colorado? Basically, everything went downhill after Ranger Team Echo found that 3DO for me. Some shady guys started coming around asking me to sell it to them. And when I said no, 
Well, they didn't like that at all. I was going to call the Rangers since you'd all been so nice to me, but then Ranger Citadel blew up, so I left. Had to leave all my cool stuff behind, even the 3DO. But there's lots of cool stuff around here, too, and I've been finding it. And that's how I started my museum. Okay. You were on the run from shady characters. Why did you change your name? Oh, I did. I just always forgot to say it. I'm supposed to say my name's Dave, but yeah. <coughs> okay, talk to you later. Hi, Rangers. I guess Thanks he doesn't want the, the Tarzan token. Right. I love those boots. Where'd you get them? I love those boots. Where'd you get them? Hey, if you're into weird shit, check out Quartz's museum. The sanctified Piscatelli. Guns. Sanctified. The woman has scars all over her body. Marks that speak of acid burns and shrapnel damage. Her eyes are scarred and blinded. She turns to you as you approach. Mm, heartbeats that I don't recognize. Come closer, strangers. The sanctified Piscatelli crafts weapons of all sorts for those in need. And she can read that you are very much in need. Uh, weapon modding six. Interesting work you're doing here. Could we help with any projects that have you stumped? No scars. Are they from your work with weapons? Uh, let's try oh. weapon modding. Hmm. I suppose there is an order I need assistance with. Yeah, I can use your help. There is a weapon on the bench just waiting to provide its blessing to the needy. Okay. Uh, we'll be happy to help. Uh, the sanctified Piscatelli leads you to a workbench with an unusual looking pistol on it. You work on it for several hours. Piscatelli's tools are unusual, emanating a scorching heat that leaves your arms marked by burns. Piscatelli nods approvingly at this development. Uh, the pain does not last. And the scars? Those are blessings. They are a record of your dedication. Proof you are strong enough to rise above the fears of the flesh. A reward that fits your efforts. Keep the weapon with my blessings. So the scars are from her work with weapons, so we're not going to ask Certainly. about that. Certainly. Okay. What, what was the weapon she gave us? Oh, it was a brawling weapon. We already have one of those. That kind of sucked. The Emancipator Auto Shotgun. Okay. Ooh. They're not too expensive either. Spaz 12 Auto Shotgun. That's quite nice. That's very nice. Ooh, a shock mace blunt weapon. Believe it or not, 61 to 74 damage. Does it take ammo? It doesn't look like it. Though it's... Need to see if that's worth buying. Colt's rifle, assault rifle. M1989A1. Assault rifle, 20 to 24 damage. That's just way better than anything we have. Photon churner, chop machine gun, to revolver, 79 to 97 damage. It has some nice stuff, man. Clown hammer. Modder's kit. Weapon modding and armor modding plus one. Let's buy that. Tactical nuke. I don't think we need that. And we could do with some 762 ammo. See, it says one. But it's, it doesn't cost one. This is by 200. Don't have that much money left, so we won't be buying any of the other stuff for from her just yet. 
buy a hundred of these. That leaves us a pretty stint of cash. No junk. It's that plasma grenade. 148 to 196 damage. Nice. I mean, these don't really sell for much, do they? Keep that for now. Sell the scrap legs. Keep those. Scott armor we can sell. Scrap armor we can sell. We'll keep that. Sell that. Sell these two. That gives us a bit of money. Uzi will sell. Tommy Gun will sell. Freezer will sell. Punk Buster will sell. Roach Gun Auto Shotgun. We already have a better one. Phase Blaster. That's nice. Keep that. Sears Revolver. We're not selling. This will sell. We're definitely keeping the Megascope. And we'll keep that Marksman Rifle as well. We'll keep that. So that. Okay. That gave us, a, gave us a bit of money. We do have this, but... I mean, it says it's worth a thousand, and we only get a hundred and seventy-five for it. You know, you haven't lived until you climbed aboard Barnes Night Search. So I think we'll keep that red lock key. Hey, you want me, but what am I? I know you want me, but what am I? <laughs> okay. Ramen noodles. All right, I think that's it. I definitely want to come back here and buy some stuff from, from her. I think. Guns sanctified. Guns sanctified with blood. But we are out of time, so we'll have to explore the rest of the bazaar in the next one, guys. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.